Cuba traigo el son ritmo sabroso. An international telecommunications class was offered for the first time in 2016. The course focuses on how information and communication technologies have influenced the development of Cuba. The class instructor, Professor Matthew Jackson, says it's important for media students to see how these technologies connect the world. Not only does it shape our understanding of other cultures, it's how other cultures understand the United States as well. Media, cell phones, the internet, have a tremendous impact, and the only way to really appreciate that impact is to see it firsthand. Thirteen students were accommodated by partner institution, the Center of Jose Marti Studies, during their week in Havana. Jose Marti, an important 19th century philosopher, initiated Cuban independence from Spain. As an academic, Marti's legacy has influenced both the modern-day Cuban revolution and education system. Each year, the Marti Center designs curriculums for students around the globe. International Relations Coordinator Vilma Merderos is contacted by foreign institutions and frequently travels to recruit. Que no viene solo. Students don't just come here to learn about the life and work of Jose Marti, but also to learn about the center itself because it's an important cultural institution in Havana. The center allows students to learn about Cuban culture, history, and literature. Undergraduate and postgraduate courses are also offered. The telecommunications students participated in extracurricular activities, studied Jose Marti, and attended guest lectures. Welcome to my country. I have visited your country many times. I have been received graciously by American universities, and we have learned how to agree to disagree in many topics without going to war or going to a free fight. <laughs> Thank you. With an almost 100% literacy rate, education is top priority in Cuba. During a visit to the University of Havana, students learned all schooling, elementary through doctoral studies, is free through government funding. Undergraduate studies span five years on a 5.0 GPA scale. Law student Alejandro Castro Malda explains the process of higher education. In high school, you finish with a certain GPA. With that, you are given a list of college majors that would be your best career fit. If you don't meet the required, you can't take the admissions tests. If you pass the tests and have the requirements, you can take certain college classes. If you don't, you have to choose a different career. Just last month, Barack Obama was the first U.S. president to visit Cuba in 88 years. Travel restrictions are beginning to ease and outdated policies are coming to an end. But it wasn't always that simple. At one point a few years ago, Cuba was still on the State Department's watch list as a dangerous country to travel to. It's a communist country, so there's almost no private enterprise. They have significant restrictions on freedom of the press. Due to the ongoing embargo, economic relations between Cuba and the United States remain limited. Many Cuban commodities date back to the 1950s with technology and internet scares. Around Havana, select Wi-Fi hotspots provide connection to citizens at an expensive cost. As relations strengthen, the Penn State Telecommunications Department hopes to bring more of its students to Cuba within the following year. Reporting from Havana, I'm Ann Casper.